Hello, it's Elder here, and today I wanted to talk to you about these heirloom seeds brought to you by the Atomic Bear. Now, uh, to be dead honest with you, my knowledge on gardening is extremely limited, but just like everything else that I'm always preaching, when it comes to emergency preparedness, you can never be overprepared, and you at least have to have basic knowledge in uh, a variety of different scenarios if you wish to bode well uh, during that emergency situation. So once again, I was able to uh, get these seeds, which I'll get into more detail in a uh, bit, and I was actually able to grow some lettuce, yeah, me, of all people, within about three weeks. So uh, I was pretty excited about that. And what I want to do is share with you the process and the information that I gathered so far during this review process. So let's get right into it. All right, so first off, the packaging comes in this uh, cool Mylar bag that's actually uh, resealable with the uh, Ziploc here. So once again, these are meant to be stored for emergency uh, preparedness purposes. Uh, but of course, you could go ahead and use them anytime. Uh, initially, it's an 85% germination rate, which is pretty cool, but the longer they're stored, obviously, the lower that that number will get. Uh, they, right here, it comes, with about th uh, it comes with 32 different varieties, ranging from squash, tomato, collards, cantaloupe, corn, spinach, beets, shard, okra, you name it. Uh, they are made in the USA and sourced in the USA, uh, which uh, definitely makes them good to go. More than 20,000 seeds that you're actually getting here. So uh, that's pretty good, you know, and especially with the 85% germination rate. Now, for the purpose of this review, I obviously wanted to grow something. I didn't just want to show a bunch of uh, seeds and individually wrap, which looks kind of cool. But at the same time, you have no idea if they even work and will grow. Neither do I. And uh, those of you that have been following me for a while know that I'm not going to put any product or piece of gear on CoachHelder.com unless I know it's good to go. So the only way that I could really find out if it was good to go was by uh, going through the process and seeing if I can grow something. So I went ahead, contacted the Atomic Bear, uh, explained to them and said, listen, I really don't have a uh, green thumb, to put it mildly, what do you recommend? And what they did is they ended up uh, pointing me to an ebook that's uh, over 400 pages long, very detailed on all sorts of stuff, not only pertaining to these specific seeds, but even best tips on how to grow and uh, what type of soil to use, so on and so forth. So I was able to gather that, which of course comes free uh, with the seeds, with your purchase. So keep that in mind. You will get a copy of that PDF also that you'll be able to download. But more importantly, I was able to just follow a simple checklist, go to the big box store, pick up some soil, mixed it with some other soil I had in the backyard, found a pot, leftover uh, pot from a plant that my uh, wife had, and said, you know what, let me give it a quick try for the purpose of this review. Nothing's probably going to grow anyway, but, uh, you know, at least I gave it a try. And uh, surprisingly to me, three weeks later, we have uh, some pretty good looking lettuce here. Uh, not only is the color good, but I also uh, got to taste it a little bit. Still a little, a little bitter, but, uh, you know, definitely on its way to being good to go. So I was uh, a bit impressed by myself, <laughs> but to be honest with you, it was so damn easy that... Uh, you know, I probably could have done it with my eyes closed. So if I can do this, trust me, you'll be able to do it much, much better. So bottom line, if you're in the market for some seeds that you want to go ahead and store and put away or even just keep in your go bag and even utilize now in your garden. Uh, once again, do what I did. Get out there and test this stuff. Make sure it works. Don't just save it for emergency purposes. And then you get out there and you find out that guess what? It doesn't really work. So you're just carrying around a uh, false sense of security and uh, extra weight for nothing. But uh, these so far, uh, they've been good to go with my experience. The uh, budget is right there as far as comparatively with anything else sourced in the USA. Uh, not much more you can ask for. So go ahead, take a look at these. They might be the solution that you're looking for. Uh, so far for me, I'm certainly happy. Once again, this is Helder. I hope you found this review helpful.